Tell me we're not running that blockade. Oh, only as a last resort. I break the Mantis' transponder to transmit Imperial signals. Hey, Greaves. Yeah? Keep your power signature low and act like we belong. Just like Bracca. Oh, sweat. I don't need another set of hands. Just please keep your eye on the scanner. All please. right. All right. All right. I don't see anything. We're preoccupied with something on the ground. We're clear. Doesn't look good. The Empire is devouring Kashyyyk for its natural resources. Wookiees have been enslaved or displaced. Walker's approaching their position. Tarful could be with them. Tarful could be anywhere. Like deep in the ground, like we're gonna be if we get caught up in that battle down there. We don't have any other options. And, and we'll die without our help. So what's your plan? Sabotage. We used to scrap walkers on Brock. God, I'll just jack one. <laughs> get a load of the kid. He thinks we're back in a Clone Wars. Captain, <laughs> get us near those walkers. Wait, what? Listen, those walkers double as troop transport, so once you get inside, be careful. But no freeze grease to work your magic. Hey, do me a favor. Stay alive down there. I'll add it to the plan. All right, if you're jumping, you better do it now, kid. You ready for a swim, BD? <laughs> Something I've always fucked with is the audacity of the fucking uh, Jedi because they do stuff in the extreme while the Sith are very well calculated. Uh, they try to make sure they have everything planned out or if they don't have it planned out, they make sure that whatever they're getting into, they can completely overcome. So welcome to Kashyyyk. I think this is where I'm going to start the video actually. So welcome back to the channel. I'm from the In today's video, we're back playing Jedi Fallen Order. This is our landing on Kashyyyk right now. We're trying to intercept whatever's going on here because we just got here, don't know what's happening, don't know anything about it. And we're trying to help out the guerrilla fighters that are currently taking the fight against Kashyyyk. Something I mentioned uh, probably in the last yeah. episode is that every Star Wars has to have the, uh, the teddy bears, the Wookiees, and I can't remember what the other Wookiees are. Not Wookiees, but like... The other race on Kashyyyk is called. Let's go quiet for a second. Right now, we're still in the middle of a winter storm. I think I talked about the last episode where it was on its way. I can't remember. But right now, it's already hit and they're trying to clean everything up right now. So I don't know if I can. It's weird that I just turned that corner. Actually, it feels like it shouldn't have happened. And jump upward. Where am I trying to get to? I can't remember. Okay, well, we're just making our way around this. Let's finish this. Yes, we keep going. We have to finish this. I remember climbing up the right side originally and having to go to the left side, which is the side that we ended up starting on, anyways. But I think I can climb up right here and get over to the top. That or I gotta climb up right here. So uh, maybe yeah, okay. Yeah, I pretty much went the same way route that I usually do. Okay, didn't have to worry about him. I was definitely gonna cut him in half anyways, but here we go. Two. So far I've started this video three times, just so y'all know real quick. Uh again we're trying to catch up from the 
loss of my background or my uh, backup. I think this is the third video in the next week that everything's going to come out. Interesting that they have casualties inside of the ship, though, or inside of the ATSD. I like how that just went out uh, the way that. Sorry, it has to go quiet again. The snow plow went by three times now because Raw is kind of shitty about taking care of it now. How's our hull looking? Badly damaged. We're at 70% integrity and falling. That should still be enough to stop out these insurgents. Keep us steady. Yes, sir. Got one. Yeah, Raleigh's has been really bad about taking care of the snow as it comes in. We have reports of winter storms for like, we have reports of winter storms for a week ahead of time, but Rala was still not doing anything about it. And it came up in the Stuco meetings too. It was slightly better this time since they actually put down snow the second day of the storm, but overall, it's not the best. Um, I like how they mentioned the Clone Wars too. Uh, in this little like uh, in the cutscene right before this Right now we're trying to get everything done get up to our landing on Kashyyyk Probably should slow down a little bit because I was gonna walk up on this body that's there Just brought an ad out to the table. Who are you? Someone making the Empire angry. We're venturing on an imp landing pad up ahead with my fire support. Copy that. Let's make them even angrier. All right. I like how they in the Star Wars universe overall. I haven't seen the Book of Boba Fett yet, but I like how they kind of integrate stuff in the background. Like, if you haven't seen, um, what is the what is that called? The Mandalorian. Don't if you haven't seen that yet. I like how they brought Ahsoka back. Sorry if you haven't seen it, but if you had, maybe I should have waited until I said the little spoiler, but this is, they're in season two now. I haven't watched any of season two, I don't think. Uh, actually, no, I think I've watched all of season two, but I still like how they're bringing back old characters that didn't have their actual ending. So Book of Boba Fett, stuff like that. I'm not gonna, I've had Book of Boba Fett spoiled for me watching stuff for Rooster Teeth, actually. But, I appreciate how Star Wars is trying to tie up loose ends or make sure that they give all the characters that they have justice instead of just, you know, leaving it be. Is there anything else I'm supposed to destroy? Because I know that ship takes off. And sorry if I'm all over the place. My roommate, I went to the store during this uh, winter storm we got. Got myself a little bit of Spetka. Me and my roommate had a shot. I've had breakfast, but wasn't enough to counteract this one shot. Damn, this shit took off. I didn't even notice. Okay, let's get it. Yeah, my social media director's gonna be upset at this one, but this is a Friday, so you know it's whatever. I'm just trying to enjoy my life while I have it. You know what I mean? Take this thing out. Okay, there we go. Kashyyyk for me has been an interesting planet. I know in the last video I ended up getting lost because I ran out of time or well, I was running short on time. So I was trying to rush through everything, but I ended up taking longer trying to take shortcuts and stuff like that. I think everything about the shortcut got cut out. But here we are Kashyyyk now, now and we'll see what happens. I think that dude, okay, this is where I got the loose ends tied up. This is probably going to be an all over the place video. I'm looking at myself and the reflection of my TV that's next to my PC setup. So it's just a black screen, kind of like Black Mirror, same setup or same idea as Black Mirror where you see yourself kind of when the screen goes black. But yeah, I'm okay. Got a name? Cal Kestis. Sogarera. What are you doing on Kashyyyk? Looking for somebody. What are you doing here? My companions and I came to Kashyyyk to disrupt Imperial supply lines. Hey! Who are you looking for? A Wookiee chieftain named Tarful. Tarful is impossible to find. There's a reason he's evaded the Empire for this long. He's a freedom fighter? He's THE freedom fighter. A symbol of the Wookiee resistance. Tracking at the Empire from the Shadowlands. Hmm. Seer? 
trees. This is Toph. How you doing? What do you want with Toph? Jedi business. Jedi is dead. Not all of them. <clears throat> Get that awful corpse. The master gave it to me. This pad supports an imperial refinery that runs on Wookiee slave labor. Intel suggests that some of the captives there are guerrilla fighters. I should help them. One of them might know how to contact Tarkin. It's possible. Whoa, wait a minute, hold on, wait a minute. The Manus works wonders. I mean, it's a great ship, excellent pilot, but it is not built for close support. We'll stay here and monitor Imperial transmissions. With a bit of luck, we'll intercept any distress calls. Appreciate it. My lieutenants and I will scout ahead to prepare the attack. Join us when you're ready. Go, go. All right, getting back into it, we landed on Kashyyyk. Uh, they've given us a task, basically finding Tarful, the dude we came before in the first place. Something interesting about Kashyyyk too is that it harbors like the largest and smallest natural creatures in the uh, area. So the Wookiees, the largest and the little teddy bear dudes, which I'm probably gonna put in their actual names if I remember to. I don't say, I don't know why I say remember to, like I'm not talking about it now, but the teddy bear creatures uh, also. So should let's be at see. the other end of this trench. But it's definitely interesting because it does have a lot of natural resources with its trees of life, similar to like uh, Look, Avatar, the blue people, not the last airbender. Stuff like that is made Kashyyyk very interesting to me, especially with the Wookiees too, since they are one of the, not most sought after, but like the heavily enslaved race, besides the sure blue ones that have hair. And I want to say shout out to well, this, this dude on TikTok named Baldy One Kenobi, but I don't think I'm big enough for a shout out to mean anything. But he's that like watching Star Wars and everything like that. I don't watch Star Wars, the movies itself, but people like him and there's this other girl whose name I can't remember off the remember off the top of my head who do a lot of Star Wars commentary, similar to like how other people will do um, like Marvel or Let's DC comic it. commentary. That's how I see the Star Wars commentary stuff. And actually, I found the Star Wars stuff far more interesting because, again, they were talking about it in a Rooster Teeth podcast where Star Wars stuff will take place on mostly the same planets like uh, Kashyyyk, Tatooine, and stuff like that. But it's like you have a full-on galaxy to explore. And I don't know if I talked about it in the videos that didn't get lost, but, um, you know, like... <laughs> You're you're in a full-on galaxy and we re why didn't you pop out last time? You're in a full-on galaxy where pretty much you're on the same few planets. Let me out Probably lock on hey. Imperial sap refinery lies dead ahead What does the Empire want with tree sap? Nothing good. They refine the sap into a powerful compound and they're rushing to expand production. We have to stop them. That's the plan. We don't know their end game, but they spread themselves too thin. This map we recovered proves it. Here you go, bud. These refineries double as brutal prison camps. They use those cutters to create a distraction while you take your lightsaber and free the Wookiees inside. We need their help to stop the Empire. Understood. Watch yourself in there. You hear that? City needs my help. Come on, buddy. Okay, so like I was saying, the D and D stuff. A lot of who I play as barbarians, and my German teacher really uh, got me interested in it, especially by going back and showing me other stuff that a barbarian can do besides doing a lot of damage by swinging their weapon with a rage. You can, wow, I can't believe I fell off that. But uh, you can like tackle, grapple, stuff like that, um, which is really the barbarians class. So there's like the paladins who are supposed to be tanks, so they take a lot of damage. There goes high AC, high damage mitigation stuff like that while the barbarian is kind of a mix between high damage like high melee damage and high um 
AC generally, like their AC isn't that high, but they reduce their damage, like they have the damage that they take. So they're pretty much like, in my opinion, they're like Hulk basically where, yeah, I definitely missed that extra uh, health stem thing, but it's fine. Cause I'm more upset. And I think I'm going to probably switch back to the first gameplay that I had. Once I catch back up to where it is, where am I supposed to go? Okay. But yeah, d and I think is a game that anybody can play, but everybody overlooks because it's like boiled down to complete nerd culture instead of the full on um, grandeur and the multicultural culturality. The, it, a lot of people can play d and You don't have to be a nerd to play d and You really just have to be open minded and of thinking about like stuff outside of just normal marvel stuff like it's it's it does take a lot of uh it does take a lot of imagination to play DD, but you still can do more in D D than just swing your hammer so that's what i appreciate from my german teacher in high school my senior year of high school i don't want to name drop people that much because i know on my podcast triple a podcast go check it out we're trying to do a right now, like literally today of recording, which is going to be probably Friday of release. So a full week later ish. We're trying to get our social media stuff together a little better. And let me get this Astro mix scan. Uh, I do all the editing recording over there. Since I need that in slow-mo still. I do all the editing and recording. Uh, for AAA podcast, but I like that little uh, setup, but our social media person is trying to do something different. So I don't know. I say check it out, get a more candid view, see the people that have shaped me as on a social standpoint as they've been my friends some of them since kindergarten some of them since fifth grade and pretty much anywhere between but it's between fifth and oh yeah i heard they got that earlier that's pretty much just walking through the enemy it is a force ability so i have to watch my meter Let's go ahead and save these Wookiees now. I don't think I need to. Oh, no, I need to go here. But yeah, all of them have been my friends since like middle to high school. Well, actually, no, they've all been my friends since fifth grade is still elementary, I believe. So since elementary school, uh, last one I known was Sahara. And she's the one who does the social media stuff now. But everybody else, like Jake, I've known the longest. I think I've known Sahara and Jordan for a similar amount of, not Sahara, sorry. I already said she's the one who showed up in fifth grade. But I think I've known Jordan and Megan a similar amount of time, but wasn't necessarily friends because they, because I picked my nose when I was younger. So, you know, girls don't really uh, like a dude who picks his nose or really as a young girl, you're going to think like that shit's gross. I'm not going to talk to him. I'm going to distance myself. From him. So that's kind of what happened when I was younger. Uh, I don't really care at this point, though. It's fine. But on um, those two since then, and then Jake since kindergarten, like for real, my friend since kindergarten, one of my best friends, like probably for life at this point. But let's see. Now, do I remember how to get through this area? I know I gotta climb up this, and BB, uh, sorry, BD is gonna hack into everything. Yep, this panel is where he's gonna hack in it. Drop off. Interesting how that didn't do any damage, but I'm not gonna complain. Man, what's over here? Why is it letting me climb this way? You just wanted to turn that cutter on. Unless I was supposed to start over here and I just jumped up. Can't really tell. There's probably a secret over there somewhere, but I'm not going to say that I've been trying to just focus on playing through the game, but I do want to get back to where I was because I'm kind of upset that I lost all that gameplay. Like, I don't mind replaying the game because I played on a slightly harder difficulty and just kind of semi rushed through everything, but it's still a little annoying that it happened. 
Okay, I know I don't have any force abilities coming up soon. Uh, increases distance of dash. I don't use that ability that often. Waiting a longer time to attack after Cal swings his lightsaber allows him to perform a special attack with increased damage or increased range, which I will take because oftentimes I'm attacking when the people are out of range. It's more like a jab or a fencing type move where you're going to poke directly at the enemy. And I'll take an increase to my force bar because I do the I use that force dash so much that I it just makes sense at this point. Right. Damn, I got to pee right now. Oh, well. I want to see if these uh, bad guys can kill these spiders so I can at least deal with one. Or none. That would be the ideal thing is none because... All right, so one's down. Looks like this dude's actually trying to shoot at me, so I'm going to take him out. But the other one's actually shooting at the dude there. Okay, I can deal with one spider at this point. One spider and one, uh... There we go. And... Do something. Bitch. Okay. So there's a few things in this area that I remember from the first time. And actually, my very first time playing through, I missed a lot of the secrets that I think I'm gonna show now for my second time playing through, which comes from, which comes from the lost files. If I can remember where they are, otherwise I'm definitely gonna have to cut this part out. Okay, let's see, let's see. Because there's a way that leads back up to, onto that ridge. Right here. Okay, so this is the secret that I ran clean past the first time I played. And I'm gonna go this way first. Yep, the albino witch, witch shock, which is just an albino spider thing. Can't block that. And block that either. Okay. I'm actually glad I took this ability because I've never. Yep, I've never seen it before. Uh, so it's pretty cool, and it's like allows me to flow with the heavy attack, so I can break a defense and then also. Interesting. It's not scanning the actual corpse. But I can uh, break a defense and then follow up with another heavy attack without it being a huge issue. Don't fall behind, BD1. And there's something else down there I have to scan too. I'm trying to keep up with all the, like the hidden stuff, especially when BD1 runs out, runs off. I want to be there and like make sure, you know, because to me this is like what BD1's fascination is. So I want to be there for his and my own fascination. The Battle of Kashyyyk. I know that that comes up quite a bit in uh, Battlefront 2, where you'll fight on Kashyyyk. Camino, places like that. Got another breach down here. Some that should weapon. increase my force bar. Who's that? Overall, actually. So that's actually pretty good because I think I found more secrets in my, I guess, third playthrough at this point compared to my first. So I might actually have to stick with this one since uh, well, it's actually going to be linear for you guys if I stick with this one. But then also, I found more secrets in this one. I did miss that one. Uh, health not health but like what is it back to yeah the back to cell i guess is what it, i'll call it which i believe is like their advanced healing technique so like when vader got messed up aka anakin got messed up he was in the back to tank for a long time and then had the uh cybernetics infused to his body these would be these will be tanks of the sap i don't know what they were refining the sap into though i assume there's explosives of some sort or some type of fuel that they need but again, with Kashyyyk being like the area of natural resources, but these natural resources are coming from trees, it's not quite the same as oil. It's still quite interesting to me, though. In real life, we call oil a um, non-renewable resource, but it is still technically natural. It just takes like millions of years to form. It's a shame that the other dude got caught with like the very back end of my uh swing there. I jump through this? Nope. Oh, I'm floating. Okay. Nope. Being a non-native PC player and playing this game on PC has made it that much more difficult for me, especially where the force uh buttons are.
him out the way for sure. Clean all of these people up. That was pretty nice, actually. There we go. And we're all good. It actually worked out far smoother than I wanted to. I checked the settings on stuff. One of the settings was like auto lock onto the next target, which I do like. Uh, Guards. Part of me didn't want to use it at first because it was going to be, oh, that's going to take out the immersiveness of the game of like making sure you're facing your person. But then I was also like, the reason I don't lock on is because I have to actually turn my camera to face the person that I would want to lock on to. But I'm fine with taking out like the closest person to me because that's the main goal, basically, because usually that's going to be the melee character, which is going to be more of a threat because you can hear a gunshot and block that. Personally, I didn't see these type of joints until I got to um, Rogue One, where the dude actually has one that's on his side. The security droids. Ooh, I've never seen that one before. But here we go. We got the security droids. Let's get these, um, I almost said Kashikins out of here. Get the Wookiees out of here. There's more than one Kashyyyk race. Oh, I can't remember the other one's names though. There's like a zombie game mode of it too in Battlefront 2. So you're like slowly all become the teddy bears. That's what I'm going to keep calling them until I remember their names. This is going to probably be as I edit this video. Glad to help. Something that interests me too is that the Wookiees understand the common language, which for us is English, but the common language of the Star Wars universe which I don't know where they're learning it from because they all speak in the Wookiee language. But it's interesting that you'd have to learn the Wookiee language, but they already know our language. So I feel like if it's set up how school is nowadays, where, you know, in English, you have the choice to learn uh, French. Usually it's like French, German and Spanish, especially like in my high school uh, district. But also in other places, you can definitely learn other ones. But then I know in European countries, they naturally learn English as well, probably because, well, okay. In Germany, I'll say, because I, that's the class that I took. I didn't take uh, be Spanish because be going into engineering, I thought that German would be more applicable for me than Spanish, but still. Okay, so I feel German would be more applicable for me since, you know, the power of German engineering and stuff like that. But taking that class in French, okay, taking that class is like, okay, well, we learned a lot about the German um, culture and stuff like that. And part of their schooling is generally learning English as well as German. Uh, and actually, I don't even know if other... Uh, I want to say nations learn like English speaking nations learn English like we do in America, where we have to teach, uh, you know, like literature, language, stuff like that. Uh, I know my high school literature teacher, she was phenomenal. Like everybody that I know still talks about her and stuff like that. I don't know if I want to name drop her, but I know she did switch schools in the district, but those people who had her classes are set up uh, English wise because of how much like care she took to teach it. I think my sophomore year teacher too was pretty good. Gotta get them out of there. Uh, but I always took honors in uh, uh, Oh shit, I have to push one of the next step. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna take out everything uh, outside of that combat droid first. Okay, now we can take it. Ooh. Looks like they took damage from the uh, explosive that when I buy them from the clone too, which actually I do appreciate about this game where the enemies will take damage from each other as well. So it's not like the enemies can just sit there and like, I guess mini gun a hallway down with their own teammates, because they will kill them. Stuff like that is what's pretty interesting to me. And you definitely saw it in the first episode because I know I was blocking back um, melee, or not melee, I was blocking back laser attacks before me, but since there's a melee person coming at me, it'll pass through them on the way. But if I block it back, it essentially becomes my own blast of fire and it will hit the melee character. The Wookiees are free. Get to the roof. 
All right, now the Wookiees are free. We still have to find Tarful, the dude we came before in the first place, which is also interesting because we showed up here looking for one specific dude and got caught up completely in a war. Um, can I open this? Oh, oh shortcut is open. Okay, but there's something back here that I can do also. Can't really see what that did, but I'm just gonna leave it overcharged because usually it's a good thing to do that. But I know I said 48 minutes, but I think at this point I'm gonna call the video there. So thanks for watching this video. We freed the the Wookiees and pretty much just showed up and helped out like we would do as a Jedi. So thanks for watching this video. Don't oh no, don't do that anymore. All right, well thanks for watching. I know this is a Friday video. I talked about it a few times, so I'll see y'all next week. Uh, bye.